What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com. And if you haven't heard, IntelliScreen X7 Beta has been released on the Mod My Eye repo. Now if you guys aren't familiar with IntelliScreen X, then what this is is a massive lock screen tweak. It's going to have a ton of information, a ton of features, and they do a really good job of trying to make you never unlock your device again because there's so much information right there on the lock screen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to the lock screen here and you can see exactly what I mean. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is right up here at the top. Now this is gonna be quite a long video, so go ahead and sit back and relax because this is gonna take a while to go through the entire thing. But you can see right here, right in the top left hand corner, we have the time as well as the date. Now over here, right below that, is the actual current weather right now. Now it's pretty subtle, but it's just a cloud right there, and that's basically telling you that it's cloudy outside. We also have the location that we're in, as well as the uh, high and the low right there, right below your location, and then you have a 12 hour forecast. And then over here on the right hand side, you have the current temperature. Now, if we tap on this little widget right here, it's gonna shift and it's gonna give you the five day forecast right here. So a lot of information right there in that small amount of area. Now if we scroll down here, you're gonna get, obviously this is going to look pretty much just like your notification center. So you're gonna have your game center, mailbox, PayPal, Steam, Tweetbot, Instagram, basically everything that you get notifications in, it's gonna show up right here. Now, usually you have a little uh, scroll through right here, but it seems to go away randomly. Now. Remember that this is a beta, so everything's not gonna be working perfectly, but let's go ahead and continue with this walkthrough. So you can see over here, if we swipe from the right to the left, then we're gonna get a panel over here on the right-hand side. So here we have home, this is your mail, this is Twitter, this is Facebook, and this is RSS feeds. So to begin with, if we tap on home, this is actually home. So this is what home looks like. We're gonna swipe back over, we're gonna tap on mail, and then it's gonna bring you to your mail. Now you're gonna see your unread messages right here, and then you can see the little loading right there as we scroll through, this is all of your mail. So I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you tap on this, then you can see you get a preview of it, and then you can tap on either reply, open in the application, mark as read, or delete. Now something with a little more uh, body to it, let's see if we can find something here. There's something with a little more body. So you can see if we're scrolling through here and reading this, uh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you can see some of the uh, links, hyperlinks and everything. The formatting is kind of uh, not the best. So, I mean, you still get a preview of it. And if you really need to read it, then you can always just tap on open. That's going to open it directly in the application. Now, if you want to compose, then you can just tap on this little plus. You can tap on compose. And it's going to bring up your actual keyboard. Now, one of the things that I notice is it doesn't give you anything to type on. So, you can see here, if we start typing nothing's working so that's something to keep in mind too so again this is beta so everything's not going to be working at a hundred percent so now let's swipe back over here and let's tap on Twitter so this is gonna bring up your Twitter and you can see right here this is the uh, portion that you're in you're in the timeline right now now if you tap on this it's going to go directly to your mentions so we can tap on that again and go back to our timeline and scroll through here and if we tap on one you can see you can either open you can reply, you can retweet, or you can actually open the link directly in Safari. So if we tap on that, it's just gonna open up the uh, link to this post right here. Now, if we wanted to tweet something, then we can just type tweet. Again, we don't get any type of uh, notepad or anything that says what we're actually typing. So again, not something that you could probably use right now. Now we're gonna swipe back over here and we're gonna tap on Facebook. And I don't actually have Facebook uh, configured. I don't use Facebook other than my Facebook page. So you can see here that you can configure this if you want to, but basically it's gonna give you all the things that you would think it would. You can, uh, you can post something right here. You're gonna be able to like or comment on different posts as well as scroll through your Facebook feed right here. Now let's swipe back over and you'll also have your RSS feeds. Now this is something that I don't really use either, but. I possibly could get into something like this. You can see that this is all your RSS feeds and if you tap on one, then it's going to open up right there on the lock screen. We tap done and then it goes straight back to your lock screen. So you're still gonna have access to your camera as you can see right there. You're also gonna notice this different button right down here. And if we tap on this, it's gonna automatically open up a quick compose for a text message. So you can see this right here, the background is actually my background on my, or my wallpaper background, just kind of blurred out. and looks kind of like with a white overlay. Now you just type in your contact right there, you type in your message, and then you can send 
a quick message to anyone. Now, if you tap and hold on this, then you're going to get compose mail as well as compose message. So if you want to compose uh, mail, if you want to send an email, then you just tap on that and then it'll automatically open up. Now, another really cool thing about IntelliScreen X is slide. So you can see right here, if we pull that down, it's going to give you all of the recent open applications. So this is basically all the applications in your app switcher or the first eight. And what you can do with this is slide over just like this, as you can see. Now, if we leave our finger on right here, then you can always slide right back. You can pull it back down. We can open up IntelliScreen X, slide that over. So you can basically see how this works. And it actually is pretty cool. So if we slide this down and we tap on something, it's going to automatically open up. Now, we can't slide back over. But if we hit the home button, it's going to go directly back to the lock screen. So pretty cool. Now, this isn't only accessible in the lock screen. This is also accessible on the home screen or anywhere on your device. If you just slide right up from the top left hand corner down, then you're going to get all this right here. So now let's go ahead and open up the device and we're going to jump into some of the settings here. But before we jump into the settings, let's go into the notification center. So you can see you get a ton or basically all of the information that you got on the lock screen right in your notification center. So you have your IntelliScreen X homepage, you have your mail, you have Twitter, Facebook, RSS feed, and then you have your today tab if you actually use your today tab. So we'll swipe that back up. And now we're going to go into the IntelliScreen X settings. And right here we have the notification center pane. So if we tap on that, then you see this looks actually pretty familiar. This is straight from the settings app. So if you want to mess with what is visible on the lock screen or what you see in the today view or anything like that, then you can do so by editing this right here. Now if we tap on the mail, you can see you have this in your notification center. You can toggle that on or off. You can also change the number of preview lines. You can change it to zero lines. You can change it all the way up to unlimited. So it's going to show the entire email. Now, if we tap on Twitter, you can see really not anything to configure here. Just telling you your Twitter handle. Same thing for Facebook. If you don't have your Facebook set up, then you can do so right here in the IntelliScreen X uh, settings pane. You also have your RSS feed. So you can make this show in your notification center. You can change the title to one line, your preview, as well as refresh settings for uh, IntelliScreen X or on null page. So you can change this to never all the way up to 24 hours, or you can change this from never all the way up to 24 hours. Now we're gonna go back here and you can see the hidden IntelliScreen X pages. This isn't something that you can actually click on. So nothing to worry about right there. Now down here we have general. You can enable your lock screen right here. So obviously if you wanna see this on your lock screen, then you're gonna to have to enable this right here. You can change your lock screen dim time all the way up to 60 seconds down to 10 seconds and I recommend something around in the 15 second region just because you want ample time to be scrolling through and if you need to stop and look and read it something then you want to have ample time to do so before it actually starts to dim or go off now here you have your ticker max refresh so you see that you can obviously uh, change that as well if you want to now if you want to change the lock screen blur tint then you can tap on this and you can see you change it to blur you can change it to a percentage of darkness so rather than leaving it at blur, let's change it to 50% dark and I'll show you exactly what that does when we go back to the lock screen. Now for slide, this is actually what slide is right here. So let's tap on that and you can see you can enable this on your lock screen and you can also whitelist apps. So if we tap on this, this is basically only if you have a passcode set on your device. And then if you have a passcode set, then these applications are the only ones that you're going to be able to access through slide. So I don't actually have a passcode set right now, but if that is something that you have set, then that's how you use whitelisted apps. Now that's pretty much all there is in IntelliScreen X settings. Now if we go into the Messages Plus settings, there's not a whole lot here, but there are a few things. First is the Enable or Disable. So if you don't want to use it at all, then you can just toggle that off. Now you also have Show on Lock Screen. So I showed you that earlier where you could quick compose an email or a message straight from the lock screen, just that little button down in the left hand corner. You also have Manual Banner Dismiss. So if you toggle this on, when you get a banner from Messages, then it's going to stay there until you manually disable it. And I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. So let's go into my messages here and I'm going to send myself a text. Then we're going to jump out real quick and I should get a banner right up here. Now it's not going to go away until I actually tap that X as you can see right there. Or if I scroll up just like that, then it'll go away as well. And if you just tap on the banner, then you can quick reply. So just to show you guys the darkened wallpaper here, let's go back. And you can see that the darkened wallpaper 
basically just makes everything look quite a bit darker. You'll also notice that the scroll is actually working up here somewhat, and you can see that you can scroll through right here. So here I have my mail. This is uh, my RSS feeds from Yahoo, looks like. And here's Twitter, and here's more mail. And that's pretty much it. So there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with IntelliScreen X, and I'm anxious to hear what you guys think about it in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.